2015 and a half Cherokee 264 L travel trailer here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan with a lot of mid-season updates. Uh, you instantly notice the full body color package on these and that is something that is new to the 15 and a half season that did not exist at the beginning of the 15 season. Um, however, you're still going to get take advantage of, at least from Halet's, the, uh, the benefits of the limited package that you see here. That's a bundle of options and upgrades that is available only to Cherokee's higher volume dealers. And I'll kind of touch on a few of those items as we go through. But if uh, you know, you're, you're questioning any equipment on this trailer, always double check our pictures, check our listing, and short of that, please call for information. We're very happy to make sure that this is the exact trailer you're looking to take home. Um, the, the one in this video may not uh, accurately represent the unit you're taking home. Usually the pictures are a little more up to date. Um, that being said, this being a 15 and a half, it should be pretty current. But, uh, you know, we take the time to list out all the options and features on these. Kind of a, a hidden gem on a Cherokee, something a lot of people don't realize, is it does have a propane quick connect down here. So if you have an outside grill, they are uh, pre-plumbed for that. Um, also, part of the limited package is the pre-wiring for the solar system here. Uh, if you want to add solar panel chargers to your travel trailer, normally you have to uh, kind of take an inverter and wire it in and you almost have to rewire half the coach. That can be expensive, it can be hazardous if it's done wrong. You don't want a backwoods mechanic doing that for you, you need a professional doing that. But you already had a professional do that. Cherokee did it for you. So all you have to do is plug in your panel, it'll keep your battery topped off, and you go back to uh, you know camping. Um, this is something new for 15 and a half, the Strap Lock Weight Distribution Assist Hitch. This right here, what this does is this clip goes down to hook to your torsion bars on your weight distribution. Then you just take like a socket wrench and crank that up to exactly where you want it to get your trailer riding level going down the road. You need these riding level. It has two axles. You need to use both of them. Neither one axle or the other is designed to carry the entire weight of the coach. That's why you use two axles together. If you don't have that strap lock system, you're kind of at the mercy of where the links on the chain happen to kind of fall. And uh, you know, you may not get the best optimal towing experience, and this does allow you to do that. I do love to point out the windows on these. In their class, Cherokee does have the biggest windows, the most windows, and uh, the most opportunity for cross ventilation if you open your windows. I mean, geez, you got just lots of scenic viewing and lots of light pouring in from everywhere. Another 15 and a half update is the textured sidewall on the slides. And I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but if you listen, it's my fingernails uh, rubbing against this stuff. And it's textured like that so that it really pulls that slide seal as the slide goes out. And what that's going to do is do the best job possible of guaranteeing uh, a proper seal so that you have the least occurrence of any sort of chance for water leaks or anything like that. Um, these are, interestingly enough, prepped for a backup camera now. We're starting to get to that point on towable RVs. You know, they're getting longer and longer and they can be a little trickier to back up. The travel rack here is part of the uh, uh, limited package. It doubles obviously as your spare tire carrier. You don't have to take the spare tire off to flip the rack down. And the entire uh, rack is designed to be, I don't know, light duty, 200, 250 pound accessory tray. Upgraded power awning and power tongue jack on here so you spend more time enjoying your campsite, less time wrestling with a big heavy manual awning. Um, what's neat here is underneath this, you see this cool blue glow. They have a, a, a really sweet little blue LED strip under this awning and it really gives it an awesome, just knockout look at night. Your whole thing glows, it looks great. Outdoor entertainment center here, you see your speakers on each side and your TV can quick mount inside or out and then you simply plug it in down here. It still even connects to your, your DVD player and everything. Um, so it really is like an all-in-one, no-hassle sort of entertainment center. Oh, this is another thing I always forget to talk about until I touch it. Notice, if, that, if this door swung all the way open, it would block your windows. It might block part of your water heater. That's a bad idea. So what they did, so the wind can't uh, whip it open for you, they friction sprung it. You see how hard I can throw this, and it still doesn't slam the door. It still doesn't slam the door, even when you smack it. That's because this hinge is purposely friction sprung so that the wind really has to get whipping up uh, to cause any sort of chance for potential of this thing crashing open. Now, uh, again, the interior fabrics and color schemes, these are things that can vary trailer to trailer because we do sell so many of these. 
I believe this one is called Natural, which is a, a leather, uh, faux leather touch um, on the sofa and the, the rear recliners. Um, it would, uh, and then where other places you're going to have uh, these nice high contrast fabrics like you see here on the, the valances. Um, again, the pictures probably more accurately represent the unit than the video. If you're ever not sure, just call. We will hop out, double check, and before you spend your $4 per gallon gas, before you invest a bunch of money in a travel trailer, we'll make sure it's the right one. Now you also have another one of those LED strips above the slide out here. And not only does it just give it a really sweet look, um, very space age and high contrast colors, but at night, if you do have someone sleeping on your hide-a-bed here, because that can sleep one or two people pretty comfortably, it's a memory foam fold-out sofa, you can use this uh, almost like a night light. Now, rear uh, living rooms like this give you more windows, more cross ventilation, more space than other things in their class. Now, in this class, recliners are almost unheard of. You generally don't run into recliners until you're in a very high-end travel trailer or mid-level fifth wheel. But here you have it in something that you can afford and take home. It's just one of those things that Cherokee does a little bit better. Uh, you know, like windows. Windows cost a lot in the RV business. You have to use really strong windows because these things twist and turn and groan going down the road. And if you don't have a strong structural window, you can crack that window pane. But, uh, you know, if you've ever been camping, I, I ask you, when's the last time you heard of someone's window pane cracking? It doesn't happen because they use really good quality windows in RVs. And, uh, you know, bigger windows mean more money. But, uh, you know, you also get more scenic viewing from it. But look at stuff like this. You know, you've got full half-inch plywood boxing on some really big, deep drawers. You can put some serious, like, flashlights and stuff in there. This is another 15 and a half item here. The engineered countertops one piece molded this is not uh, press board and particle board water cannot get into this water can't cause it to swell and give you soft spots notice that you, you have a recessed sink again like a high dollar fifth wheel with very similar um, sort of uh, hardware here in the kitchen you have bigger cabinetry than anything else in this class in the kitchen very deep I mean it goes up to my elbow um, central air and heat um, generally in a Cherokee like this we will enclose the underbelly please always double check your options list oh geez back here in the kitchen uh, the the new um, flush mount glass top for your stove here and that extends your countertop space so now this entire thing is usable counter space instead of only having a little pocket back here and back here you get to use the entire thing um, I the problem with a lot of rear living rooms is there's no storage in the kitchen however Cherokee's been building campers long enough they figured that out. So they put a very big pantry right next to the refrigerator here. So it's the same depth as the fridge, except you have this big five shelf monster pantry. Now, before we move into the bathroom, a couple things to point out. Freestanding table and chairs is an upgrade that we like to put into these. Notice it does have a little flap to flip up if you want to seat the extra person there. Um, we will often upgrade our Cherokees to feature the wooden plantation blinds here in the living room, just to really class up the living room. And your entertainment center here, in the 15 and a half series, like this one, the uh, TV comes with the limited package. In the early 15s, it did not include a television. So that's one of those main differences to keep in mind if you're shopping around. Your stereo is still an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, and DVD unit. 15 and a half touched up their look on the entertainment center with the stone look set up here. And that's that same quick release bracket you see inside or outside to take your TV wherever you want to go for uh, you know tailgating fun. And finally, they're getting away from tubs. We have a nice fifth wheel shower in a travel trailer. And that's very common to Cherokee is that they've always had that step nicer sort of things in them. Like the, this big giant sink and the biggest medicine cabinet I think you'll ever find in a travel trailer. And this is standard for them. They've been doing big medicine cabinets like this for a long time. And while you think, mm, big deal, medicine cabinet, if you don't have one, where are you going to put your toothbrush, toothpaste, shaver, all that stuff? It just, it litters up your sink. It looks like crap. Stuff is constantly falling in the sink. It's a pain in the neck. Um, my camper doesn't have a medicine cabinet. Can you tell I wish I had a medicine cabinet? <laughs> a little linen cabinet back here in the bathroom is nice just to keep some towels on hand. It's actually kind of comical how many RVs have nowhere to keep a towel right next to the shower. Um, 
And in this class, you generally get one of those little four inch plastic vent fans and Cherokee gives you a full creative breeze fan. This thing can uh, pull a lot of air. So like at night, if you open your windows in your bedroom and then kick that bathroom vent on, you'll have a nice cool breeze rolling through here at night. Have some good summertime, nighttime sleeping. I do like to point out they do have a second door here to uh, right, right next to the bathroom. So if you're going down the road, want to hop inside real quick, hop in that door, use the bathroom. Don't even worry about the slide out. Another big important 15 and a half update is the upgrade to a full 80 inch queen bed. A true queen, not a 76 inch short camper queen. Uh, tall guys like me, I'm 6'3", I can sleep on this without my feet hanging off the bed. Shorter camper queen, I can't do that. My camper has a shorter camper queen. I make do, but every single time I think, man, I just really wish I had a longer bed. Also to point out, each side of the bed does have a little stand for like, say CPAP breathing machines or alarm clocks, and you do have power outlets there. And of course, uh, mom and dad up front, you do get a nice closing door for privacy up here. Uh, give us a call, learn even more about these at 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Happy camping.